exporting the project to HTML, CSS and JavaScript in Bootstrap Studio is a simple matter. Simply click on export. In case you would like to include a sitemap, make sure to include the URL of your website. Select the destination directory. And click on the export button. Let's go to the export folder to inspect our results. We can see all our HTML files and we can test the HTML files by opening them in a browser. Or we can inspect the generated HTML code by opening them in a simple text editor. We also have an asset folder. The assets folder contains all the resources of the website, including pictures, CSS files, JavaScript, etc. But now we would like to get this website online. To do that, we need a web host. I myself have a web host called BA Cloud. Other popular web hosts include HostGator, Bluehost, and many more. Make sure that the host you choose includes at least cPanel. cPanel is what we use to upload the exported website to the server. BA Cloud offers FTP. We can use FTP with a client like FileZilla to easily share files between the server and your computer. But not all hosts offer FTP, so in this video I'll demonstrate how we can upload our website using cPanel's file manager. cPanel is a pretty basic file manager. It's a bit complicated to upload multiple folder structures. To simplify this, I'm first going to zip my exported website. And then I only need to upload one file. And once uploaded, extract the files over here. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. And now our website is online. That's it for now. See you in the next and final video. Bye bye. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing. You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.